Good morning, good morning, good morning, saints. I hope I find you well. I hope that you are fine in the presence of the Lord. People of God, this is the day that the Lord is made. We shall rejoice and we shall be glad in this day. I just want to speak to you quickly about something that is very important and um, I've been meditating upon it and I realized that the Lord is truly good and uh, whatever he does, he does it for a purpose. Now, people of God, I want to teach you about the art of leadership. The art of leadership. As I was reading the Bible, I discovered that there is an art of leadership. If you don't have the mystery or the art of leadership, it will be difficult for you to be a leader. A leader is somebody that sees what other people are not seeing. A leader is somebody that can understand the things that are not available and they can actually relax in the midst of confusion. As I was reading the Bible, I saw that in Numbers 13, there were spies that were sent. There were spies that were released. Joshua was one of the spies. They went to spy to the land and Moses did not go there. People of God, I want you to know one thing. Joshua saw the area. Joshua saw the place. Joshua even went in to see the place and came back. That's why it was easy for him to say, I can lead you. What am I saying here? It's a mystery because one thing that you need to understand is a leader need to go ahead of the crowd. A leader need to go a step ahead of the crowd, which means your knowledge base have to be ahead of other people, which means the way you understand things have to be a, a step ahead than other people. The way you see things and the way you perceive things must be totally different from other people. That's why you become a leader. A leader becomes a leader because of the outstanding knowledge that they carry. Um, my God. So now if you look at Numbers 12, jo jo uh, God is saying, if there be a prophet amongst you, I will speak to him in dreams or in visions, which means God wants you to see the picture before you tell people about something. God wants you to understand that you cannot direct someone where you have never been before. So in other words, if I dream of a company, I, I, I can actually tell people how the company will look like, even though it's not yet there. Because remember, the things that are seen right now were made by the things that were not there. Hebrews chapter 11 and verse 3, the Bible says that, the things that we see were made by the things that were not there. It is because somebody was carrying a certain vision. Somebody was actually seeing what others were not seeing. Do you know one thing which is so interesting? A vision is only understood by the one who is carrying it. The other ones have to run with it. They don't need to understand it. Some, they don't need to understand the vision. They just need to run with it. And running with it is just like to carry it and then you run with it. You don't need to understand the, 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 I mean, the calculations or everything about it mostly. No, 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 no. If I tell you right now that we are going to Cape Town, you need to understand we are going to Cape Town. How we are going to get there is none of your business. The only thing is pack your bags and let us go. You know that whenever there is a vision, wherever there is an understanding, you can be able to lead. I, I, I've seen leaders that start shaking when things go bad. I've seen leaders that will start shaking when they are placed in a pit. I've seen leaders that start shaking when they're in Potiphar's house. I've seen leaders who start shaking when they are placed in a prison house. But I want to tell you today that if you want to lead even your own life, if you want to be a good leader of your own personal life, have a, be a person with a vision. A person with a vision will always reach higher destinations. A person with a vision will always move faster than others. Have you ever entered into a city without a map? If you enter into a city and you don't have a map, you are going to struggle. But if you have a map, you have got the ways to shortcut the distance and you have got ways to actually move according to a certain speed. Direction is more important than speed. The moment when you have got direction, speed is not necessary. If you have direction, that is, if you have that vision and if you have that understanding, it's better than to have speed. I have seen too many people with speed. I've seen too many people who are fast, but at the end of the day, they go nowhere. I've seen people who are very slow, but they've got direction. 
you discover that those with, with, who have got direction have got the tendency of reaching their places or their positions faster than those who don't have a direction. So people of God, just know this today. As I'm speaking to you right now, I want the Lord to put something inside of you. Inside your dreams, you might dream seeing yourself somewhere. There is something that God wants you to see. You can never get to a point of understanding God uh, and his ways if you don't see things in visions and dreams. You need to understand that whenever God shows you something, which means it's about to come into your hands. I don't know what God has shown you. It is about to come into your hands. I don't know what God has placed in your dreams today, but I know it is coming into your hands. Whatever that is good, it is coming into your hands. Your own life needs a vision. Your own life needs vision. Vision is something that you sit down and then you it comes in like an idea. If I do this, what will happen? Are you aware it is the evidence of the things not seen? It's something that is not seen by everybody, but you have it. Evidence, evidence, evidence. If the evidence is inside, I, I, I don't know how to explain it, but the evidence, <coughs> sorry, the evidence is inside. I don't know how to explain it, but there is something I saw. There is something that I have actually perceived. That when you carry a vision, you don't become normal. When you carry a vision, you are not like anyone else. When you carry a vision, people will not even understand you because you've got the evidence of the things not seen. So people of God, my name is Apostle Mapanda. I need to sign out today so that you can now go back and understand that your vision is the reason for the season. Every time you have the vision, you've got a purpose of living. Every time you have a vision, you've got proper understanding of your direction. You cannot just get a vision and remain the same. Many people, they normally call it dreams. They fulfill their dreams. They actually live their dreams. Why? Because when you pursue it, it needs faith. Faith is the necessity that can carry you to your destination. Without faith, your vision cannot be fulfilled. So people of God, May the Lord continue to bless you more. May you like and share this video. Share it with others. I need them to understand that there's no way you can go around asking people to tell you your purpose of life. The only thing that your purpose can be made manifest is by understanding that there is a vision for you. May the Lord continue to bless you more. May the Lord continue to shower you with the blessings from above. May the Lord continue to open up doors for you. May the Lord continue to bless your children's children. May the Lord continue to enlarge your territory. I'm signing out. My name is Apostle Emma Panda. May the Lord continue to bless you indeed. In Jesus' mighty name. Shalom.